Now, most of you are familiar with Sightmark and their optics. Now, like me, many of you love your red dots for both rifle and pistols. Now, when putting a red dot on a rifle, unless it's only for CQB, you really need a magnifier to extend the range accurately, in my opinion. Now, the price range and quality of magnifiers is actually a bit shocking. They range from less than $100 to over $500 and crap to Special Forces quality and durability. Most of us don't need or want to spend $500 on a magnifier and don't need special ops quality and durability, even though we would like it, but that usually comes with a pretty stiff price tag. Now, Sightmark has always been known for their affordability. Let's check out their highest end 3X magnifier and see if it warrants the, you know, low to mid price range. They do have a couple others that are at the lower end, around $100. I wanted sort of their high end one because I want to really torture test it. Yeah! I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, so a magnifier is about as kiss as it gets. You know, not really any moving parts, not much to it. For the most part, it either works or it doesn't. Okay, so I've got this on my Springfield, um, and I'm actually doing a review on the Volta here. And so this just seemed perfect to do it. I've got a 2 MOA dot, and I want to be able to reach out there two, 300 yards, you know, see how far we can go. So I've got the Volta zeroed at 50 let's just see what we can do with a magnifier this magnifier behind it and then i'm going to take it off i'm going to torture test it make sure that it you know does what it's supposed to do that it's got the the proper ipx rating that it handles and takes some abuse and then put now before we do all that just take a quick look at the specs and tech Okay, so real quick, out of the box, so you know what you're getting when it comes, if you get it. Okay, so it's got our quick detach here with a locking mechanism. And we can make adjustments there. Okay, guys, this one flips to the side. There's no button or anything. It's just got a good resistance. Actually, and I will say it's a good amount of resistance, enough that I can turn it, and it's not going to flip back with movement. And then we've got our knobs up here for centering the red dot when we're looking through it, if it's offset a little bit, and then we have a focus up here. Pretty simple. Comes with tools, everything that we need for getting it mounted. There you go. Out of the box, quick and easy. Okay, first, special thanks to Federal for providing the ammo for this review. I've actually had really good luck with some accuracy with this. This is the 62 grain full metal jacket bow tail. Okay, we got a really nice day out. Got a little bit of crosswind, but not much. I don't think anything that's going to cause any issues. Um, let's just start at 200 and work our way up and, you know, make sure that we're, we're hitting stuff, see what we can do with a magnifier and the red dot, you know, I can try switching with that. And then when we're happy with that, we will take these off, torture test them and put them back on and shoot the peacock off the roof. Okay, well that was, that was pretty easy. Let's try three. Okay, that wasn't bad either. Let's try four. Okay, that's not bad. Let's let's go five, folks. If you're enjoying this review, 
Do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing? Not a zip. Zero. Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Costs you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. And I couldn't hear it because Peacock! We are in the process of training them with my airsoft gun to stay off the porch in this side of the house. Um, but we're just in the beginning of that classic conditioning. I'm thinking of them as Pavlo's dogs. Um, but instead of a dinner bell, we're using my son's airsoft. 500, one more time, now that it's quiet. Yeah! <laughs> it's amazing what we can do without the distraction of the peacocks and no wind. There you go, 500 yards. I'd say that that works. Let's take these off and torture test them. Does it fall? Hey, I want to say special thanks to Gators for providing the iPro. These are the Raptors. Um, I'll just have a quick little information sheet here that shows you. I really like this iPro. Um, they're comfortable. They're totally adjustable, aluminum frame. Anyway, I'll have the link down below. Check them out and see what you think. I'm really enjoying them. Okay, so we passed with flying colors. Okay, have no condensation in there. I'm not having any water. I've got a nice, crisp, clear picture looking through it. Okay, so after freezing it and then dropping it and submerging it, the magnifier held up, okay? There's absolutely no condensation in here. Um, didn't take on any water or anything. It wasn't until right when I went to put it back on um, for the thumbnail picture that I did notice that this had broke okay whoops and so i guess that's going to be up to you to decide if that's a failure you can see there the metal um, broke anyway i'm guessing that that would be covered under warranty but anyway there you go hey real quick i wanted to make a note the magnifier did not even have an IPX rating. I did it anyway, and what I think is really interesting is it wasn't rated IPX 6.7, but it passed with flying colors, the IPX 6.7. Um, you know, the only thing that happened was the, the quick detach lever broke off. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. It's a magnifier. It's KISS. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If you did, make sure and hit that subscribe button. That really does help the most. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. If you have not checked out my webpage, I got a lot of good stuff there. 
I've got my crazy stupid deals you can subscribe to. So anytime I find killer deals, I pump those out. Anyway, until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time you're out getting some trigger time, you're on the range. You're an ambassador for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.